Hello. Right. I hope I got the timing right <laughs> from the titles. Um, okay, right. We're going to be having a look at um, uh, Mickey Mouse Crater, which is on um, Mercury. Sorry. Sorry, my computer's been playing up, and I think I am as well. Um, here's a little bit of uh, information about it. 2012 um, Messenger. Right, um, <clears throat> this image um, threw me actually. Oh, chuck that in because I like these. That's a cool one. That um, this image threw me because I'd all previously already done one, um, and uh, I didn't have a, a PIA number for it, and I couldn't locate it. Um, so I went and found another one, but it was I was quite. Um, quite pleased really because the uh, the fresh new NASA one which I got um, from the photo journal site um, was um, much more revealing shall we say so um, and for those of you who don't know um, you can check out my first bid as well um, these are predominantly the tools that I use um, all will be explained okay right so this image um, is quite mental it's not what it seems at all um, so this 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 hasn't been blown up or anything yet um, uh, so you can see it pixelated already but um, this is where I normally start. Um, didn't really need any um, contrast or brightness and stuff. Doing it's very, it's very dark, um, and uh, dark images um, always get me thinking. So let's just choose a choose an area. I'll do a little bit of work on this, um, and show you something and then um, we'll get on to the other one which 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 I had to play with yesterday so it's quite fresh in in that respect okay let's go let's go here and have a look okay for those of you who have seen any of the other vids um, how I start. Call it you're filling in the gaps. I'm going into the shadows. Um, and this tool just brings out um, works on the highlights. They're down here. Uh, Dodge makes it lighter, burn makes it darker. You have shadows, midtones, highlights, so you can alternate between the lot. Um, so this is how how it works so you can see the pixelation coming through and i was thinking oh this is a bit a bit cruddy but i knew better because of the other one that i had worked on um and i was going to do the panning in and panning out the different so you can source. There is stuff in here. Look at them there. So there's plenty of uh, information about Mercury out there interested enough I would give you more but um I have my first bundle of responses uh, yesterday and uh, I thought I better get with the program and start knocking some of this stuff out because I've got I've got files all over the place now I don't know if you can see what's happening here Just 
Now, this started coming through in the shaded areas and stuff. And I was like, I knew there were anomalies in there anyway from the previous one. I'll show you the previous one because there's something I want to explain. So, you can see this going on, and there are shapes starting to develop. Um, now on these on these photographs I work on, I literally, I will, if I do, have I finished one, I don't think I've finished anything yet, because there is, more or less every image I look at is completely, just covered in, in, in anomalies, you know what I mean, and, and a lot of it to the extent that there's so much going on, it makes it even harder to, to decipher. It's not just like, um, you know, a, a something that looks square hanging out the side of a hill with, with nothing else there. It, it's, this stuff is all over the place. I think Mercury is one of the the smallest, or is the the smallest planet. Two thousand two thousand four hundred miles across diameter, or something like that. Don't quite remember. Let's just have a look, a quick, a closer look at that. Can you see this? I mean, I know it's pixelated and stuff, but this, all this started coming through. So, right, we're going to have a look at the one that I only spent some time yesterday doing. And um, let's just bring that down so we can compare. So, the, these lighter areas are the areas which I've worked on so far um, and this large crater area is supposed to be from here to here is 65 miles what's that 98 kilometers or, or something like that um, okay and I'm going to show you this right I've done dozens of these things all over the solar system, but I've never seen anything like this. So, let's just get in here. And all this I've only worked on uh, with the working on the highlights. I haven't done any mid-tones or shadows or anything yet, so this will all become more and more um, defined. But as you can see, for um, uh, for cameras that are sent into space that cost tens of millions of dollars, um, I would be very disappointed with blurry if you look at this I mean there may be an element of it you know with um, the edges of the pictures and stuff like that but I'd be very disappointed considering this took um, um, I don't know over 160,000 images 
Mercury and Venus and yeah. So, but anyway, back to this. So, I was thinking, what is this? So I did a bit of investigating into pixel anomalies and how they form and I've got about three three books now, PDF books on, on anomalies and, and how they how they form and everything. So I couldn't find anything that resembles this. The only thing I could find was um, something called um, Perlin or, or simplex noise which is it's it's software it's a program which generates um, texture um, and creates anomalies within the texture but its application is used in 3d stuff animations and films and, and things like that and it, you know it bears no there's no why would it be used in in this photograph? It, it wouldn't be. So that's the only thing I could find. Um, so another thing. Sorry, I keep forgetting to move in and out. Okay, something I want to point out, which is really strange. Um, this stuff, the, the, the grid, the grid work is, uh, you can't see this, you can't see this in, in the original, here we go, uh, all this, that's why I like pictures like this, because, um, they look suspect to me, so, Okay, we've got the blurred, low quality element here, and then we've got it's far more crispy in in the dark area, which you which you can't initially see. Now, if I get further into it, now this to me looks like it's been through some sort of filter. Um, uh, it's a different um, pixel size um, and if you can see on the edges it actually let me, um, let me get a brush up you can see it actually uh, sorry about that is actually um, I'm trying to do this too quickly it's part of the, the, the edge or the rim of the crater see if I can find a, a bit that I did bit with a bit more yeah this is the edge of the crater here are the anomalies. You can see how how it is part of this grid work. That's what it looks like to me. So like I'll always say is is pause these videos and get used to uh, what you're looking at because it's difficult this isn't uh, one of the easiest ones let's see if I can do do this and that as well hold on hey. be 
you can see with the nature of the way the tools work, it picks out the highlights. Now at this, this level here to me, you can see the high points and the low points and the... I'll show you another area because it, it just looks insane. So anyway, I found this. Um, completely bizarre. Completely bizarre. Something else I'll show you as well, quickly as well. I'm talking about blurred areas and things. Come on, computer. Might have to make this a short one. Um, where can I go? Okay, here for example. So this is this is what we're allowed to see the 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 rock with its blurriness which I can get a lot of that blur out we're working on the tools but I mean this is this is this is just not it's not even a first pass on this one but I'll just show you something quickly um, okay I've got a blur tool so note this area and where I was saying it was um, joining the, the uh, crater edge and stuff. See this is all... If I go like that... You see it blurring? Oh look, looks exactly the same as the rock that bit. And that is pretty much, I think, how they do it. Crazy. Um, there you go. So completely different. Absolutely completely different. There's, that, there's absolutely no reason for, for any of this to be different. And plus the fact, well, you've got to remember, you can't see any of this at all. We're not meant to be seeing that. This area here is a crater. See? Crater. Let's go back, have a look in there. Like I say, this is no uh, no way um, finished yet. Like I say, pause it, check it out. Very strange, but I've been trying to work out how they do this stuff. And on this one, after doing the work, you can see the mountain top areas here. And this is all anomalies sticking through. I think they're using multiple layers of the same image, basically and uh, just mucking around with each image and slapping them all together basically sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't well, I'm going to show you the, the, the old one which um, which I had um, and you'll see the difference it's the same image okay a lot more work done on this, but it's a lot, um, much less detail. But the dark areas, something I want to point out in relation to that, that the blurring which I did. These areas have been worked on separately and made into a smaller um, DPI um, and then place back in, I think. But also, what they've what they've done with the blurring is they've missed the edges. Now I've seen this in similar areas on Mars. What I mean is, 
computer when you're ready. Sorry about this. It's been on since yesterday, it doesn't like it. Right, so we have a very low pixelated area which has been blurred but they've missed the very edge of the crater so you get more clarity you're getting more detail around the edge see it poking through so this is actually this but it, it, it's much uh, lower quality completely different this one but I just just want to point out the um, you can blatantly see the work they've done on this oh, I've been using these things when they're on 20 years for um, illustration and stuff and you can spot it a mile off but unless you increase the DPI of the image and have a look in you'd never see you'd never see anything anyway I want to know what a, a scientist and astronomers do when they receive these images. How do, how do they look at them? How do they look at them? They certainly don't use a computer or a magnifying glass. We well, won't see anything with magnifying glass anyway because the DPIs are so low. It just amazes me. Right, all this. Get in a bit closer. Let's check this out. It's so strange. I've never seen these sort of formations before. And these look. What are we on? We're on blur. Okay. A blast in here. And you think something that sort of looks like a grid work would be very uniform and very, if anything, is going to be in there. See, my computer's not liking this. I have to slow down a bit. Um, look at this there. There's a bit of um, perspective here. Move that a bit. But I will review this, I don't know, I, I will come back to it. Um, I just thought I'd get it out there. Part part of the channel's um, aim as well is to get people used to how things don't look, shall we say, or how to look at them, and get people doing it themselves. It's really simple. You don't have to worry about all this madness. Or don't worry about all this. It's just a couple of tools and time hours and hours and hours so I know it's not very crispy and everything like this but there are places you can pick out little areas little platforms round areas square areas oh yeah this as well what's this area here looks like it's got a P on the top another local uh, local car park see but these grids are part of the the land formation they've just been masked out it's so obvious yeah, let's have a look in here People will go, well, it's just pixelation, it's just, it's not. I'll show you where the pixels start. There's the pixels. 
and that's it that, that's in an area which has been pre-edited going to that bit there we are we have pixels that's one pixel there pixels don't mass together and form shapes and shadows and things like that it, it just don't do it what we set on what time are we at oh I'm always hitting this half hour mark it's so difficult there's just so much to show in every single image that I'm working on it's you need need like an hour an hour a Idea. So I'm going to tie this one up soon. I thought I'm just going to do some going in, zooming in and out so you can see the extent of this. Like I say, pause it, have a look. I'm concentrating on the stuff that it, this that was in the dark, basically. You see it slowly coming through here. It's everywhere. If I see anything pop out, I have a What I initially do as well, I'll just I'll go from corner to corner to corner and then just hit random areas and see what I find. And generally, most of the time, it will um, it will reveal something. To my astonishment, still. See, this is unusual. This looks like a, a raised sort of like domey area I'm actually using a real big brush at the moment but when I properly get into it after I've done some more work on it um, you can use smaller tools which obviously work in a small, smaller pixel area and uh, you'll be able to pull more information out Anyway, no one can see a thing that's going on there. But see the difference? The blurred area. There's something there as well. On the top of that. These are things you have to look for. See how slowly that they all start in to join up. See, I'm not sure what the I think it's between eight eighty five and a hundred degrees that the these um, pictures were taken at. So they're near on bird's eye, but you still see an element of um, perspective on them. A little platform, little platform. This domed area sticking up. Concentrate on that area. Time 
at all. It's crazy. I will come back to this one, this area here. through here. everywhere and what I have done as well I have also looked at some other photographs in the same um, series shall we say or whatever and um, very revealing this was something this is of Mercury as well um, which is a one it's a 24th of a quarter of a, a mosaic map, which was color. Um, but it's too, it was too big, and I can only use very, very small sections to get them up to the size where you can... They're very crafty. Um, doing fat images, and you think... You're, but as soon as you get close to it, you can't, and, and the file size is so massive already that I have to chop them into pieces but this was random absolutely random I, I took this pause this and have a look it's quite chunky when you get in close Just check some of these areas out. I'm going to save this for, a, for another one. I've got tons of it. I looked at Mercury a couple of years ago and um, it is rammed with stuff. Different to most places as well. So, um, yeah interesting stuff coming up oh and another quick thing i found this on a file i can't find a picture of this asteroid anywhere it's not on any nasa site i think it's called ipm whatever um no reference to it anywhere i searched all morning couldn't find a thing if you know what this is let us know because believe it or not give you a quick a quick snippet but there's stuff all over it you have to really get in there so but anyway have you seen Hypion need help with this one I need to get some details on it um, but There we go. Um, not enough time, too much to show you. Um, very strange. Um, we'll be coming back to this one. In fact, I'll probably do it in a couple of days. Um, so, brilliant. Thank you. And um, bye for now.